black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, y'all, the crave is too real today. Some days you just need one beautiful pound of barbecue honey hot. So wings, fresh, nice. Gorge.org, you might say. Toss with oil, we're going in the air fryer today. So just a little oil coating because that helps crisp. And then we're also gonna come in with some salt. Salt, of course, aiding and abetting in the drawing out of moisture. Therefore, you get a crispier skin, but it's just that simple. Oil, salt, air fryer. Pop these bad boys in. Find equilibrium, even spread. Give them room to breathe. You know, don't, don't crowd each other. And then we come in. And it's as easy as crank it to full hunt it. And then we go up to 40, but we're gonna do a turnover at about 20, and then another 20 on the back end. And that's it, set it and forget it, basically. And like I said, today is about a barbecue honey hot. So we're coming with butter. We got <coughs> Sweet Baby Ray. We got, we got Frank's. And we got honey. Now we just gotta make it hot. Quick little combine here. We just let that simmer out and do its thing for a little bit. Okay, 20 minutes in, we gotta do a little shimmy shimmy shake. Looking nice though. Another maybe 15, maybe not go the whole 40, we'll see. Okay, 30, 32 minutes in. And I think we're gonna have to call it right there because those are looking Costco-esque, my guy. We're gonna let these rest for a little bit. And while that oil is hot, I'm just gonna salt bay a little bit from height just because a little extra salt when they're greasy. Makes that flavor pop a little more. I've also made the last minute executive decision that we're going to keep them dry and crunchy and crispy and we're going to go for single dip into the sauce style wings a little mix match crossbreed this sauce and the ranch but per bite basis for maximum crunch all right time to build an interlocking crispy pile if we can. Sort of interlocking. Just a nice, perfect pound of crispies though. That's all we're really looking for, right? Time to eat them. Ooh, extra crispy. Like those bits right there? Those are bites for the ages. All right, let's go eat this. All right, yo, what up? What's good with y'all? Like I said, don't hit your ranch and spill it. But also <laughs> when you got a perfect crispy pound on your mind, you just need to execute a lot of chicken around here lately. I know this, but Hey, sometimes you get on these waves of craves and this is what that is. You guys know that I'm a wing connoisseur slash possible master at this point. I may have reached sushi chef level of wings at this point. I do believe anyhow, I'm excited to do individual dips on these but i'm gonna have to get a thumbnail here first so bear with me i'm gonna skip it but you'll see me in a second okay just one sec okay so up close and personal dip of that per bite <laughs> nope barbecue honey hot i'm gonna go for one unadulterated and then we'll ranch. But for now, this is what's up. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but it's, for me, it's all about letting that wing rest. That's the key to the wing. Just let it rest for 
10 minutes maybe, seven, 10 minutes. Then you double up a, a ranch honey hot. Perfect bites. Best crisp. But like I showed y'all, it's not hard. To make a nice wing is a very, very simple process. Not difficult at all. So, so perfecto. So the Popeyes, speaking of chicken, there might be more chicken coming here soon, but maybe not because the Popeyes in my city finally opened up. And since opening day, which was like three days ago, it's been non-stop jam-packed, like four hour lines all the way out, weaving through, out the parking lot, down the street, into the traffic lights. And it's on one hand, it's like, okay, cool, people are getting their Popeyes on and maybe, they, maybe they've never tried it or whatever, or maybe they have had it out of town, they've been Jones in it forever like I have. I ain't gonna wait that long though. I do have separate ranch for carrots. And y'all know I usually stay strapped with celery, but the ones in the store today were like soggy dicks, so we weren't gonna do that. So the carrots it was, is Anyhow, these lines are ridiculous. The lines are literally making headlines in news being like chicken cray. <laughs> so anyways, Popeye's is now open here. And we also got something beside it called Bar Burrito, but that's not open yet. So I will be getting to a Popeye's vid at some point, which I can't wait. The Popeye's design that they did here is very different from ones I've seen. It's got this like very retro feel to it. It's got like the orange, but then it has like seafoam green, like mint green kind of as a motif, which I had never seen before with Popeyes. So that's interesting. I do, however, feel bad for the employees. You know they're getting crushed. Also, I'm wondering how many people quit like first day, <laughs> second day, halfway through a shift, sometime this week coming up. You know that there's gonna be people because it's gonna be people that are like they can't take the heat. There's just no way. But could you take this heat? It's actually not hot, that hot at all. That's why we're honey hotting it. You guys, at this point, I need a food truck or a trailer. Like, I 
I just know I could absolutely murder shit at this point. And, uh, I just need, like, I just need an angel investors, man. Like, ah, it's so tough. I don't know how people truly get shit rolling like that. Like, for real, without... Going into some... Seriously sketchy. Bank that. For massive projects, I understand, but like for something like that, like a trailer thing, I think it's something that you should try to probably just raise the capital that you need and then just go for it. And if, you know, if it doesn't work out, then you're just back at zero. You know, you're not... women in debt took it on a shot and even after you still have stuff that like you could try again with the equipment or, or sell it or whatever but even in that case like I don't think I would fail <laughs> I just know that my ability to create like good branding like attractive branding execute things clean simple concise I know how to make the The food dope. I know how to run it like enticing promo for the first while. So yeah, people to come in. Anyways, have been manifesting. And speaking of which, I have actually been Truthfully manifesting, I started writing things down and verbalizing them every day. Affirmations, I will this, I will that, this will happen. And lo and behold, my PayPal issue, the universe granted me my PayPal back. <laughs> so no more PayPal issue. So it's, I'm very happy these last couple days because I had a chunk of change locked up in there or so I thought and uh, now I got that back so life's good in that aspect and it's back functional so it can be used to receive for requests again uh, just random charitable acts and also I can put my music back up for sale, which is cool because I couldn't before because it, it goes through PayPal. And if I wanted to do like merch or whatever, but I'm kind of past that phase of everything <laughs> in, this, in this whole deal. Merch was a fun idea for a bit back when I did it, but ultimately I'm just kind of like, I don't know. It's not that I don't see the point, but I'd want to reinvent like cooler designs and shit and like figure that stuff out. And I, it takes time to like sit down and make designs like re actually good ones okay craver for you Just needed a pound.
it was extremely random. I was just out running around doing a little grocery shop for some things. I didn't even think I was going to make a vid. And then the pound hit my mind and here we are. I'll also do a bar burrito when it opens up, but it's very much, uh, I think it's kind of Chipotle esque. And I think I've expressed in the past to you all that I'm not really a rice and beans, guac burrito kind of guy. I'm very, uh, I'm super tax max when it comes to tacos and burritos. Just my preferred method, but I'll give it a go. Just cause why not try something new? Kind of new. I used to see it in Southern Ontario, but I didn't eat it. Because there were better places. Burrito Boys. And then Chipotle, of course. There's one other spot too, but I can't remember. Can't remember the name. Anyhow, needed a Banger Crispy, like Costco-esque pound, per dip basis, two guns, definitely some positive news recently, so that's great. Your man's is back up in the game a little bit, so we're feeling all right right now. All right, <clears throat> excuse me, till the next one, you know what to do, eat good, live well, stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching, eat good, live well, and stay true.